My name is Steve Cross. During the days, I'm head of public engagement here at UCL, and at nights, I moonlight as a science comedian. So the thing I really like about comedy for our researchers and for our scientists is that it gives them a chance to talk about their work to people who otherwise would never hear about it. The other lovely thing about comedy as a researcher of any kind is it gives you an excuse to talk about your work in a way that you wouldn't normally. You're allowed to turn it upside down and look at it from a ridiculous side or expose the way you really work in a way that you can't when you're writing a scientific paper. In order to make the perfect science comedy night, I think you need to draw on the three disciplines of science that we all learned at school. You've got to get the physics right. I like rooms with nice low ceilings, hard floors, hard walls, everything very dark, just light at the front so that all you can see is the comedian and every time you laugh it bounces around the room and you hear it again. So it sounds like everyone's laughing five times as much as they really are. I think you need to get the biology right, you need to get the right people in. They need to have in their head the idea that they're going to laugh trying to get people to laugh at an event that hasn't been labelled comedy is really, really difficult because we laugh because it's an expectation that we're going to laugh. Then I think it's really nice to get the chemistry right, which is why at quite a lot of gigs I give out sweets and we make sure there's a bar open. Sometimes if I tell loads and loads of puns in a row, the first one they laugh, the second one they groan, the third one they laugh, the fourth one they groan. And if you move the order, the laughs and the groans stay in the same place. They don't go with the jokes. So I'm really worried that what we'll do is we'll try a whole load of science jokes out and all we'll discover is that. Yes, I, I suspect there is going to be some horrible spoiling comedy for everybody aspect of this experiment mm. when we discover it's entirely in the time. I do have one joke, it's not very good. Manage your expectations. What's green and invisible? No idea. This lettuce. Amazing. That's very good. <laughs> it's also very small because it fitted in your pocket. It's, 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 it's Brussels sprout. Okay. <laughs>